Hemophagocytic lymphocytosis, or HLH for short, is a rare and often fatal hyperinflammatory disorder. Patients with HLH present usually with fevers, uh, often with low blood pressure and low blood counts. And it often looks uh, very akin to uh, a sepsis-like syndrome. However, instead of being caused by an underlying bacteria, it's usually related to a series of different trigger factors which may relate to how old you are. Younger patients often have a problem with their T cells and their immune system not function accurately, so they can't handle acute infections. Younger adults may have uh, an acute viral infection or they may have an autoimmune disease. Older adults or anyone really over 30, uh, the most common underlying trigger factor for HLH is that of an aggressive lymphoma. HLH is a rare disease and to study rare disease you need big data from, the, from a whole country. And we were able to do that work in our research using information from the whole of England over approximately 20 year period. Using data uh, from England, we showed that there has been a fourfold increase in the incidence of HLH. That's the rate of diagnosis of the disease. And whilst it's rare, there's still an increasing occurrence, mostly in young people with inflammatory bowel and rheumatological diseases, but also in the older population who have in the main got hematological malignancy. We also looked at though the mortality following the diagnosis of disease and unfortunately that is quite high amongst people who have HLH. Overall about a, half of those people will die at one year after diagnosis and that's even greater proportion in those who are diagnosed over the age of 55. I mean, the good news is that in those who are younger with the autoimmune diseases, they fare better. But overall, our results showed the increasing incidence and, thus, and the poor survival needs action from the NHS to try and improve these people's care. Getting It Right First Time is a national quality improvement programme within NHS England designed to improve care and outcomes for patients. GERFT has led a cross-specialty, multidisciplinary team to produce the first national consensus pathway for the diagnosis of suspected HLH. This can be used by clinicians in any service, and if diagnosed, the pathway will steer clinicians through treatment pathways and how to seek extra support if needed. These resources have been co-badged with Histio UK, and they include consensus recommendations and best practice case studies. And we anticipate and hope that as a result of these resources, there will be improvements in care, outcomes and prognosis in the future.